Meet Bart. Bart is a totally blind 25 year old, and he just got thrown right into the back rooms. Could he actually survive his journey through the levels, or would an entity see him as an easy dinner? In this video, I'm going to be explaining how I believe a blind person could logically survive the back rooms. And I'm making this video because there are so many shorts talking about how levels would get easier if they were blind, or if entities would not attack a blind person. But I think that, no, levels would definitely be harder, and entities would see them as an easy target. However, I do think that I figured out how a blind individual could survive the first couple levels of the back rooms using logic and reason. All right, let's get the video and let's break it down. So this video was inspired by How to Logically Survive the Back Rooms, a video by Mr. Mirage. Go check out that video if you want to see that sort of thing. If you want to watch it, definitely a banger video. I recommend it 100%. But for the purposes of this video, let's set up a scenario. For this scenario, we will use Bart, who is fully blind, cannot see at all. Bart isn't real, of course, he is just a PNG file, but for this demonstration, we will see if Bart can survive a few different levels in the back rooms using realistic scenarios. So let's talk about the odds of all this happening in the first place. It is estimated that 15% of the world falls into the fully blind category according to healthline.com means that the odds of a blind person falling into the back rooms is one out of eight people now i say all of this to show you how rare it is that this would actually happen it's, it's not like blind individuals would have the same chance of being sent to the back rooms as a regular person with regular vision would but if they did get sent here's what would happen for this scenario i'm relying on the fact that the likelihood is that Bart will be walking with some sort of cane, or a device called a white cane. This is essentially the stick that people use to sort out their environments in front of them and check for obstacles in their path, and that way they can safely walk. This will be extremely useful as Bart gets into the back rooms and tries to survive. So, with all that information out of the way, let's set the scene. Bart fell into backrooms level zero with nothing but the clothes on his back and the white cane he was holding when he no-clipped. The first thing that Bart would perceive is the change in environment. They would immediately be able to feel and hear the difference that they're in a different place than they just were. As if the fall from the ceiling didn't cue them. Bart would need to stand up and simply observe his surroundings using auditory and physical stimulation for several minutes. He needs to listen to the hum buzz of the lights and use his white cane to feel what's around him, what's in front of him, and to touch the nearest wall. His first order of business will be to touch the nearest wall with his hand and to get a bearing on where he's at. According to Washington.edu, blind people cannot physically hear better. It's not like they have supersonic hearing or ears, but they can more accurately guess and use sound waves to determine location and origination of the sound so they can pinpoint things more accurately. Essentially, if Bart and a regular person heard a sound from somewhere, Bart would probably be able to pinpoint where it came from more accurately. This skill will be extremely vital for surviving level zero. Now, there is no food and no water in level zero, so Bart will need to get to level one in order to survive the rest of his journey and to get access to supplies. Which means, of course, he will have to learn how to no-clip. This is the first tricky part of Bart's journey because no-clipping involves glitching through a wall or having your atoms and particles perfectly align with that wall so you can slide through it. Normally, this is done by running and jumping into an already glitching wall. But since Bart can't see, he couldn't see which one's glitching. Instead, Bart would need to use his white cane to start smacking the walls that he is near. He would need to keep his other hand on a wall and keep walking slowly forward, keeping that hand there to keep his position. His other hand with the white cane would need to smack the wall in front of him as far as it goes, you know, bang it up and down side to side until he gets to a certain wall where he can no clip through. He would need to do this until he feels the cane go directly through that wall. It would kind of feel like you just stabbed a jello or something. You could feel that it went right through. This process would take a second, so Bart would have to be very patient and keep following the other wall with his hand and hitting right in front of him. But once the cane goes through the wall, he'll know that it's time to noclip, and wherever that cane just went, he will run and jump through it, trusting that his cane isn't lying to him. 
If he successfully does this, he will be on level 1 of the back rooms. And from here, I believe Bart's life would definitely get easier. And I say this because level 1 is a parking garage with water puddles inside of it, which means the sound will echo and carry here pretty well. Bart would be able to yell for help and use his cane to poke around and find other people, because as we know, level 1 is a pretty big hub for wanderers that gather and stay here. There's definitely a few colonies they could stay with. There are also supplies here in random locations that Bart would be able to find and eat and drink, but his main goal should be to find a group of people to chill with and to explore with and stay with if he wanted to. He will do this by waving his cane around and following specific walls with his hand until he finds people or until people find him. If he does find a group of people that he can befriend and you know stay there with, he will probably be able to survive because those people will be his eyes and will be able to help him get food and stuff like that. If this happens, I do think that Bart will be able to survive the backrooms. I think it's possible. His hardest thing would be getting out of level 0 and getting to level 1 and finding people to live with. And that was the best case scenario. If he doesn't find a group, however, he would have to feel around until he finds a supply crate. And what if Bart wanted to explore other backrooms levels for some reason, like level run or the pool rooms or something? He definitely would not survive those levels if he got sent there. The entities in level run for your life would get him, and the obstacles in the other levels would hinder him as well. The grim likelihood is a blind person could not survive an expansive journey through all the back rooms by themselves. Now, if they had friends to go with, then yes, they could, I think. I think they could I think somebody could help them along. But alone, in a place like the back rooms, no. <laughs> There's definitely no way they could survive. The Backrooms has never played favorites before, and it is not easier just because you can't see. In fact, it'll make it harder on yourself. It's a harsh and unforgiving environment, I know, but I do think Bart could survive level 0 and level 1 if he finds a group of people in level 1. He'll probably be fine if he does so. If he doesn't, he wouldn't be. It's that simple. There's none of this. The Backrooms will be easier. It would be much, much, much harder for Bart. All right, that's it for the video. Live a fat like for Bart for surviving level zero and one. He deserves it. And I want to thank you all for watching till the end of the video. Check out my links in the description below for the footages used today and all that sort of stuff, as well as my Instagram and Twitter and my other channel. I'm uploading a lot of videos over there on Spoogly. I think you'll enjoy it. With all that said, I will see you in the next video on any of my channels. And I hope you tell somebody you love them. Life's too short not to. With all that said, goodbye.